is precisely one of the, the problems with the current review that the government is running, um, that there's no guarantee that asylum seekers or indeed workers will be protected under the government's review. At least uh, under a Senate inquiry, we can offer parliamentary privilege, which would give protection for people. And I think that is really important. Uh, I've yes, been but contact- you have no way of knowing how that would then feed into the processing of their refugee claims, do you? You know, Fran, this is about us as a parliament using the parliamentary processes that we have and uh, putting uh, the government on notice. I think it is essential that uh, asylum seekers are able to tell their side of the story. Uh, I'm very concerned, for example, at the moment that telephones have been cut off from the detention centre since the event happened two weeks ago. I'm concerned that staff, I've been contacted by a number of workers from uh, across the various agencies who desperately want to be able to speak out but are afraid of their confidentiality agreements. A Senate inquiry would offer them the protection to speak without being, uh, without the threat of being uh, prosecuted by the government. Would the parliamentary privilege from a Senate inquiry effectively release the, uh, the G4S staff, for instance, and the local contractors from any confidentiality clauses in their employment contracts? Yes, it would, and I think it is it is essential. I'm concerned that um, the under the government's review there has been no clarification as to whether uh, uh, departmental staff will sit in in Mr Cornell's uh, interviews with people. I think the imita- uh, intimidation that the Immigration Department is currently conducting on a number of staff who have already spoken out and want to speak out is atrocious, and uh, the Parliament has a role to try and protect those people.